Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this radiating flower-like pattern we have right here. Uh, very simple, we're going to be using the blend tools, uh, some, some rotation scaling tools, but you'll be able to do it in less than 10 minutes. And before we get started, of course, if you like this video and want to see the rest of our videos, please remember to subscribe. Okay, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a circle, a sphere, hold shift, like so. And then we're going to select the anchor points up here. And we're going to bring them in. We're going to bring the handles into the anchor points. Both ends. Like so. That and like that. Then we're going to select our shape and we're going to make it kind of narrow, like a leaf or so. Just about there. Then the last thing we'll do, we'll rotate this. 90 degrees. Now, I'm going to switch the color like this so we can see our anchor points a bit better. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select our object and we're going to hold, we're going to press R and hold Alt as we click on this anchor point right here. Then we're going to give it a rotation angle from minus 15 and what you see, it will create a displacement around this anchor point and we're going to press copy. Then we're going to go Control D. D, control D, Control D, and just repeat this process until we get the whole way around the circle. Then we're going to select all of these, and we're going to give them an opacity of around 90 or so. Good. This is our base shape. Now, to find a nice gradient that you want, um, this project requires three colors. One color for this one, one from here, and one from here. Best way to do it, just find it online. Some three color gradient on UI, UI uh, gradients or somewhere like that, another website, and then you don't have this struggle with trying to find the right colors. But once you have your three colors to replicate the gradient for our shapes right here, we see that we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five shapes between our two uh, colors right here. So what we do, we're going to select both of uh, these colors right here. We're going to go to object blend and go blend options and we're going to make the spacing as five steps that means it'll create five boxes between here with colors ranging from this to this we'll go okay and then we'll go Control alt b then we go to object we expand object in the fill and then we're going to right click and we're going to ungroup and then we'll do the same for this one select both of these Control alt b that makes the blend object Expand, okay, right click and ungroup. Good. Then we're going to use the eyedropper tool by pressing I, select on the first box and hold Alt as we apply to that object. And just do this for each. And there we go, about half done. There. There we go. Now we're applied. Um, let's put the opacity back to 90. There we go. And these boxes we don't need anymore, so we can delete them. Great. Now we're going to select our object right here. We're just going to group it initially. And then we're going to select it again. We're going to hold, we're going to press S, which is the scale key. Hold Alt and click on this anchor point down here. And we're going to scale to about 500. Let's go maybe 600. Oops. Let's uh, let's try that again. <laughs> so S button, Alt on this. And oh, I think I scaled it down actually. Sorry. So let me just undo that. Okay. So let's try that again. We select our object, we group it, Control G, and then we'll use the S button, hold Alt on this anchor point right there, and we'll scale to about 600 or so, I think. Yes, and then you want to make a copy. This is important. So copy. Good. Now, we're going to right click on our object, and we're going to send it to the back, so we see the difference between these two, and now we're going to blend we're going to blend it, this shape, with this shape, with two steps in between. So again, we go to Object, 
blend blend options and it'll be two steps this time okay then we're also going to select this object right here and we're going to give it an opacity of only 20 percent like so good then we're going to select we're actually going to ungroup this because we need to select the individual objects and then want to keep the opacity so let's do that again again opacity to 20 good and then we're going to select this object ungroup it so to so and go to object blend make or control alt b and now it has two steps between the two and we just repeat that for each one of these Petals, control alt b this b next and as you see that it's becoming more difficult to identify especially the early petals from the late petals but we'll deal with that problem in just a moment. So as this is blending, it's blending the colors, it's blending the shapes, and it's also blending the opacity, which is important to be able to distinguish uh, between each petal. So that's why we set the opacity initially to 20%. Okay, great. So now we've blended everything. We're gonna select everything that we have right here. We're going to go to object again, expand both, and then we're going to right click and we're un we're going to ungroup it all. Now what we have to do is kind of annoying. We have to select all of the shapes that's part of the same group. So we'll go like this, and we're going to give them a group. We'll go group, Control G, and let's um, open our layers. Let's make him invisible for now and do the same for the next one, two, three. Dun, 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 dun. Control G. And let's make that invisible too. Again. One. So you see right here, these uh, inner circles, the ones, the first uh, petals, they have an opacity of 67. So it's between 90 and then 20. Go control G, make that disappear. Select all this, control G. Good. And now we want to make sure that this is above that, that's above that, and that is above that. So everything is in the right order. Now to make these figures pop a bit more, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our inner object and we're gonna give it a stroke of one, approximately, and um, make the color about a white. And then the next series, we're going to select this, and we're going to give it a stroke of about 0.5, how about that? And the next one's after that, 0.25. And I can just keep a bit of um, contrast between the, the features. Now the last thing that we're going to do, we also, if you want to use the shape, you can already use the shape as it is right now, but we're going to create a box, uh, roughly from here to that point. Bring it up and to there. Actually, like so. Now, I don't want any fill right now. I just want to see the box. Okay, that is all right, but I actually want the whole box to be filled with these, uh, these, uh, this pattern that we have here. So we're going to select this. Uh, press S, S, hold Alt, and at the anchor point, roughly there, don't want that. Just make it about 120 or so. And just like bigger, and now it overlaps for the box to go over. Good. Now we don't have any white space around here. This box is going to be our clipping mask. I'll just make sure that it's equal on both sides. Right there. So we're going to select all of our objects right here. And we'll go to object, or well actually we'll go to right click and make clipping mask, like so. And now we have this feature that we have here. 
Now the last thing that we're going to do, we're going to apply just a small feature to it. And we're going to create a rectangle around the clipping mask like this. Like so. And let's, uh, let's go to Effect, go Artistic, and we want to do Film Grain. And hopefully this loads up. Good. And of course, since there's no fill, I need to actually make a fill, sorry. So you give it a fill, give it white or so, and go to Effect, Artistic, Film Grain. And then you can control the grain that you want in here. No, it doesn't want to do it. Hmm, curious. Well, let's try with these features and see what we get. Then let's give it a black color, in this case. So, there we go. So, apply black color and then you get your film grain. Now we're going to click on this and we're going to go to uh, transparencies and we're going to give it a, a low opacity, so maybe 8 or so and there you go, you get a nice grainy texture on top of your features that you can also punch down to 2 or so, it just gives it a bit more pop. Okay, so that's it, super simple, about 11 minutes, I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like our videos, you want to see other uh, tutorials, make sure that you like, subscribe, check out the rest of our stuff. And of course, as always, have a great day.